Well, workers at the two Lexington co-op locations in Buffalo have voted to join a union. At Channel 2's Dave McKinley spoke with both workers and management today about what takes place next in the effort to organize. Overall, we are very, very, very excited for this announcement. Employees voted 56 to 20 to join Workers United, the same union which represents Starbucks workers locally. Tim Bartlett is the general manager of the co-op. Uh, we're excited. We're excited to partner with Workers United to make our great workplace even greater. You what? <laughs> Surprising, right? You know, this is the choice of our staff. It was never our decision, and we wholeheartedly support the decision that our staff have made. Now it'll be time to talk contract, they suppose. The next steps are a little bit unclear to me. This is my first time through it. We're going to try to get up to speed on the collective bargaining process. We're in the process of reaching out and collecting all of the workers' thoughts on what they would like to see prioritized at the negotiating table. And once we have a, a really great cross-section of what everyone is interested in, uh, we can start really putting together our priorities uh, for when we sit down with management to talk about our contract. Although they already have some ideas. Minimum staffing levels. Uh, there are days where the, the crew on the floor is not enough to get the work necessary done, and this is something that we can start bargaining for uh, once negotiations begin. Where they also hope to address wage scales. Uh, the starting rate is 15 right now, which is pretty comparable to most other employers in the area. Um, I would say that a lot of us are looking um, to increase the starting rate. He also indicated his belief that raises should be granted based not so much on how well someone does their job, but how long they work here. The way it works now is it's um, based on merit, and the person who gets to decide your raise is your immediate supervisor. And people are hoping with the union, um, you know, whether it be like a flat rate increase or that we get to change the percentages, that, you know, it's more equitable for everyone who works at the co-op. Though eager to begin their contract negotiations, the workers who led the effort to organize also seem to understand that with both sides rather new to all of this, it may take several months to hash out the language of a contract and then ratify it. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Hey, David.